I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you an interesting question to solve using trigonometric ratios. Determine the acute angle at which y equals 2x minus 1 and y equals to 0.5x plus 2 intersect. I'll show you two different ways this problem can be solved. Let me first sketch and show what we're trying to figure out. So let us say that is our coordinate axis and here we are trying to find angle between the two lines one of them is 2x minus 1 so if I have to sketch this line minus 1 is one unit here and when we say slope of 2 we can go two units and write one unit so that gives us two points which when joined will give us this line y equals to 2x minus 1, right? So that is the first line. The other one is 0.5x plus 2. So that means the y-intercept is of 2 and the slope is 0 0.5. 0 0.5 is 1 over 2. So you use one unit here and two units to the right. So maybe kind of here, okay? So let me just first sketch a rough line and then we will see how it goes right so we have a line which is kind of like this okay now we have to find the angle the acute angle which the line makes and that seems to be the acute angle which we need to figure out so approximately that is how we can draw it so this is the line which has a y-intercept of minus 1 this has y-intercept of 2, right? And we need to figure out. So if we figure out this point, then it's kind of simpler. Since knowing this point, what we can do is we can drop a perpendicular here. Now, if I do a perpendicular, in that case, we make two triangles in which we know the height of the triangle and the edges inside. Using tangent of ratios, we can find the small angle and then we have this big triangle so we can also find the big angle difference of these two angles should give us the required angle so that is a strategy which can be used and the second strategy which you can always use is your knowledge of uh, relating slope with tan of theta right so as you know slope of a line let me write down here slope m is equals to tan theta where theta is the angle which line makes with the x-axis or the horizontal line so what I'm trying to say here is that if I draw a horizontal line here then this angle is equal to slope that is what I'm trying to say so if you find this angle for the first line and also the angle it makes with the horizontal for the second line then you know the two angles you can always find the third angle when you take away their sum from 180 degrees right so that's the second method now this method I'll leave for you to do so slope is the tangent of the angle which it makes with horizontal so you can apply that strategy to solve the given question right so these are two different ways in which this problem can be solved now let us try to do it with the first method which I discussed and that is let's find the point of intersection first so we have line y equals to 2x minus 1 so that is the first line 2x minus 1 we'll substitute this value of y here and then we get this equation as let me write this as half x 0 0.5 is half x plus 2 okay. so we get our equation from here we can find what x is let me take this to the left side so we have 2x minus half x and I'm taking 1 to the right side 2 plus 1 which is indeed 3 now 2x minus half x is 4 minus 1 which is 3 over 2x right so we have 3 over 2x equals to 3 or x is equals to 
3 times 2 over 3 and that gives us the x value of 2. So we get x value of 2 here. If I substitute x as 2 in the equation, I get y equals to 0 0.5 which is half times 2 plus 2 that gives us a value of 3. So the point P, the point of intersection actually is 2 comma 3. So what we know here is that the x value is 2 and the y value is 3. So that is how we get our point. Now once we know point P then we can see there are two triangles here, correct? So let's solve for each triangle and find the answer. So first let me let me say this is O and uh, let's say A for the outer side B right and we have a point P here correct. So we are considering the triangle A P B right so consider the triangle A P B. Now in this triangle let's say that the small angle here is alpha okay in that case what is tan of alpha so in this triangle we have tan of alpha is equals to opposite side which is one unit difference between 3 and 2 divided by adjacent side which is 2 the p coordinate which is 2 and 3 is it okay so x value here is 2 so so from here we can find alpha so we get alpha equals to tan inverse of half which is equal to we can use calculator second function tan inverse of 0.5 is equal to 26.56 degrees so we get one angle that is that small angle now let us consider the second triangle which is triangle AP now let me call this point as C right so we are now considering triangle APC right the big triangle and let's call this big angle as beta okay in that case what is tan beta equals to so here tan beta the big angle is equals to opposite side now opposite side is this is minus 1 so distance is 3 units above 0 1 unit below that means 4 right the opposite side is 4 units divided by the x value which is 2 so it is 2 so beta equals to tan inverse of 2 which is let's use the calculator again shift function tan inverse of 2 63.43 so I'm just taking two places okay 63.43 not 4 63.43 so we get angle beta 63.43 the required angle let's say that angle is theta the angle is the difference between the big and the small angle right so beta minus alpha so we get 63.43 minus 26.56 so 63.43 take away 26.56 is equals to 36.87 87 degrees so that is the answer angle theta right so that is one way of solving this question but I think it would be interesting if you could also use the second method and find the solution right so it's kind of like this for the first angle let me just give you a hint here you can easily solve later so let's call this angle as theta 1 okay and that angle as theta 2 then tan of theta 1 is equals to slope of the first line which is 2 right so theta 1 equals to tan inverse of 2 we found tan inverse of 2 as 63.43 correct so I can write down the value now for the other triangle the, with the horizontal I'm saying right, this small angle 
tan of theta 2 equals to 0.5 which is half right so theta 2 equals to tan inverse of 0.5 right 0 0.5 we found that value to be 26.56 so that is this angle correct now what is the third angle that is what you need to figure out right so you can always get this angle from these two angles the angle here since you know the two angles here you know you can add 90 degrees to this correct you know this angle is 90 minus theta 1 so that angle should be 180 minus some of these two right which is kind of same as what you got right so that is how you can find your answer using tangent of a theta as slope so you can use any of these techniques to find the answer i hope you appreciate and understand the method i'm anil kumar you can subscribe to my videos and learn a lot about similar questions thank you